And welcome back. Well, uh, if you've been outside at all today, you'll notice it's cold. It was really rainy earlier, but right now, not so much. It was. We had a front move through. Now we're kind of in the on and off showers mode. So a lot of folks have seen some sunshine out there this morning. Here's a time lapse uh, from downtown Portland. This is our East Side Exchange camera. I want to pause it right here. Do you see extending out of the Pearl District right over the steel bridge? There's a rainbow and we've had reports of rainbows all over town today. Then the sky's briefly clear and then bam, another shower moves on three through and that's how our day is going to shape up a mixed bag of scattered showers and sun breaks 46 degrees right now in Portland so temperatures running slightly above average much warmer than yesterday 47 degrees in Salem with partly cloudy skies we have showers in Tillamook you'll notice that the gorge it's 39 in Hood River so starting to thaw things out there 37 in the Dalles winds have reversed direction so instead of that offshore cold breeze we have the westerly winds moving through the gorge 39 right now in Redmond, some sunshine in Bend and 40 degrees, so above freezing there too. Let me show you what's going on right now. Zoom in. We do have a heavier cell that's moving into portions of Washington County, closing in on Tigard right now. Sherwood, the rain's about to turn pretty heavy. This will all sweep across the heart of the metro while probably a lot of people are out walking around grabbing lunch in downtown or maybe making some Christmas returns. Here's the coastline. Scattered showers there. Some of those showers are heavy. In the Cascades, the snow has lightened up a bit, but we'll continue with the snow showers all the way through the overnight hours tonight and you can see we also have snow showers in the blues and the Wallawas and really tough driving conditions over I-84. Snow continues to pile up in the Cascades. Kind of cool this icicle and a lot of happy skiers out there enjoying all of the fresh snow. Here's your updated ski report. Timberline 10 inches in the last 24 hours. Mount Hood Meadows now 16 inches since 8 o'clock last night. Really impressive snow totals. Even Ski Bowl right at government camp 10 inches of new snow. Mount Bachelor reporting 4 inches, so a little bit less as you head south. We are uh, in the midst of um, basically onshore flow, bringing in scattered shower activity. We'll continue with that today, and then a ridge of high pressure builds in tomorrow. That means we are briefly dry. Thursday night and Friday, weak system moves through, bringing a little bit more mountain snow and some showers to the lower elevations. And then this weekend, our focus shifts to cold air that moves in. Sunday, New Year's Day, we could potentially see some snowflakes mixing in the lower elevations, and it looks like we're drying out next week with some very cold temperatures. So here's a look at the rest of the day. Five o'clock, scattered rain showers in the lower elevations. Snow showers in the mountains continue, and in central and eastern Oregon, too. Here's tomorrow morning, drying out, a mix of fog and clouds. At 8 o'clock, and it looks like a really nice day. I think partly sunny conditions at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We are dry overnight. Maybe a few showers clip the northern coastline early on Thursday morning, but it takes some time for this warm front to get to us. So this is 4 30 in the afternoon, and then that front slides through, and, and we get some snow showers east of the Cascades. This is 8 o'clock in the morning on Friday. So here's a look at your seven day forecast now. Scattered showers, highs in the mid to upper 40s today, drier tomorrow, dry through Thursday morning, and then brief rain Thursday. Thursday night into Friday morning, drying out again. And then all eyes toward uh, next week, 33 the high on Monday. It's going to be cold. Too early to know exactly who could see accumulating snow, if mm -hmm. anyone in the lower elevations on Sunday. It's something we're watching closely, though.